my name is Danny, and I am a foreign English teacher in Li Shui High School in Li Shui City, Zhejiang Province. This is my second year here with Amazon Year in China. So in this video, I would like to talk about my first year in China, you know, why I stayed, and then also how has China made me grow, made me realize things. So my first year in China. Before that, let me give you some information about me. I come from a very, very small town in South Carolina. Um, I think my graduating class in high school was like 120 people, so very, very small. The biggest city I lived in was my capital city, Columbia, South Carolina. However, it wasn't really downtown a lot. I stayed on the outskirts, so I really haven't been in a ginormous city, and also I speak English, so living in America was not a problem. I have never traveled outside of America before deciding to come to China, so obviously I was terrified. I don't speak Chinese, so getting around when I first got here was very, very hard for me. So story time! When I first got here, I accidentally ended up on a public bike on the interstate because I am directly challenged, can't read a map, and obviously don't speak Chinese. So, yeah, it was rough. For the first few months, it took me some time to get used to the food. I was eating bread a lot for lunch. Also, I had been introduced to so many people in the first week of school, and there was just, I was overwhelmed when I first got here. However, I did not feel unwelcomed. That's the difference. My school really, really wanted me to have a good time. So as I stayed here longer, I started to get more comfortable in China, more comfortable traveling in China. Opinion is your best friend. And so after that, everything started getting better. So after you get out of the transitional period of, oh my God, what is this? Everything gets really, really good. I mean, you can travel easily. Everything's so cheap here. The food is really good once your stomach can handle, you know, switching from grease to oil. Everything's golden. So, on to why I'm staying another year. First reason, I have no job prospects in America. Second reason, I don't wanna go to grad school. But in all seriousness, it really is great here. However, I will be very, very honest and say the biggest reason why I'm staying in China is because of the students. So for a lot of the students, you will be the first foreigner they've probably ever met, especially their first foreign teacher. It's kind of like, you know that scene in Toy Story where, where Buzz Lightyear gets into like the claw machine and all the green aliens are like, Whoa. Same thing. You are Buzz Lightyear, they are your little green alien toys. I don't plan teaching forever, however, that, you know, that little warm, fuzzy feeling from the kids keeps me here for a little bit longer. And last, how has China changed me? So the first answer is it's made me confront things I thought were universal, like cleanliness, expectations and social situations, and even meetings. And my second answer is China has made me more mature. I know that would have naturally happened anyways because I'm getting older, However, being in China has sped up the process. You start realizing exactly how many things are just considered cultural norms in your own society and realize those norms don't carry over. Is this really an issue? How do I ask about this or about that? How should I respond to this? Did what they say mean what I think it is? They are a second language learner. So maybe they just don't understand the connotation of the word. How do I go about talking about this but not hurt their image, okay? Not have them lose face. So in, essentially, it's just stop and think before you react. I'm not perfect at this, obviously. However, I do think China has helped me get much better at it. So this was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you a little bit. But if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And bye-bye!